11 races done, it's time to take stock of the season so far. What is your judgment of this first part of the season? Um, obviously we were a little bit on the back foot at the start of winter testing. Um, I think we learned a, you know, an awful amount through that period, um, which we used later. But you know, first races we were struggling. I think we were one and a half seconds off the pace in Melbourne. Um, you know, there's been a huge amount of work, um, both here um, in the wind tunnel, uh, in manufacturing, production, design office, you know, the whole system has um, responded to the challenges we've had. I mean, I think, you know, we've managed to outdevelop most teams out there. So, you know, yeah, I think we've made a, a reasonable recovery, but we've still got, still got a long way to go. Fernando in Budapest uh, talked about some lack of uh, development in the very last few races. Can you explain more about it? Uh, yes, we've had a couple of developments that um, haven't worked as we we're expected. I mean, I think there's always various issues with with that. Um, the you know, I suppose the good thing is that we we understand it. It all ties together now, so we can use that knowledge to to move forward rather than being sort of confused. We've now actually got a clear direction of what we need to do. Um, so we're, we've started down that development path. So you think those issues? Uh are going to be resolved for the next future? Uh, yes, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's like all these things that when you're, you know, pushing the boundaries, you always come across new problems. Um, as I say, I think we've, we've got a, a good understanding of those now, so um, we just modify our development criteria and um, keep pushing. August will be a month without uh, any Formula One uh, uh, races. What will happen uh, in these weeks between today and the uh, racing spa? Um, well, what we, you know, we're all here um, this week, you know, doing as much as we can. Um, you know, there's, you know, we're still developing bits for um, some you know, small items for Spa. Wind Tunnel is concentrating on sort of updates for Singapore. Um, so, you know, we've got a hard week this week. You know, then we all get um, two weeks off, which will be nice. Um, and then back pushing again straight away after the break. Personally, uh, what do you do in those two weeks uh, without uh, being in the factory? Um, I go back to the UK, spend some time with my family. Um, it'll, it'll be nice to have more than two days in a row with my two boys. You cannot work uh, physically, but uh, do you think your brain will be able to turn it off uh, all thoughts about Formula One or uh, something will be in the background anyway? I'm, well, I'll try, try my best to not think about Formula One and just think about spending time with my family. So you, you have hopes to be able to recharge the batteries? Oh, I hope so, yes. I mean, we've, I think everyone needs, uh, it's been a, it's been a, you know, a tough four or five months um, for everyone in the entire organisation. So I think it's good to have a break and everyone to recharge and then we've, you know, we've got to be back pushing as hard as we have done so far for the rest of the year. We will be back uh, for the last two races in Europe, Spa and Monza, completely different from the previous one. How do you see uh, the situation for, uh, for the team in those two races? Uh, we've got some you know, reasonable developments coming through for Spa. Um, obviously, you know, downforce-wise, it's you know, a little bit specific, and the same with Monza. So, again, we've got a sort of Monza-specific um, aero package and engine um, package coming through. So, yeah. It's yeah, a lot of work done, a lot to still to do, but yeah, we'll see how many developments are coming, we just need to keep the pressure on.